I was not able to turn, walk. Um, I would freeze up and my handwriting went real small. Uh, the walker was getting difficult for me to use and I was just froze. I couldn't move at all. Deep brain stimulation is primarily for people with movement disorders like Parkinson's disease and essential tremor, people that have shakes or very stiff and rigid uh, musculature in their arms and legs. The technology that we use today is a robotic technology, which is a newer way of doing that in terms of using computer guidance, using a robot to guide the deep brain stimulator into the deep part of the brain where it affects the tremor or the rigidity. The robot is a different way of doing things. Currently, we have to have a patient in a frame and we have to do a lot of legwork before the surgery. The robot hopefully will cut down a lot of that, including the surgical times. For example, this case took us less than an hour. So that is great for patient care, especially these patients that can't tolerate the longer procedures. People have noticed a change in me. They tell me that I, I act different, I look different, and I think that's a good thing. It's a new frontier in terms of neurosurgery, in terms of utilizing this uh, technology. In the past, it was always uh, based on other uh, computer guidance platforms. This is the first time a series of patients have been done using a robot on the brain. I've been able to not use the walker as much. Um, I've been able to do some things around my house that I haven't been able to do. And we were, I'm still working. I work from home. and. So I've been able to still do that. But I'm just very grateful for Dr. Rizak and his team. He's an excellent surgeon. I'm very grateful.